Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the southern wing of the Stink Bug Works. At this very moment, there are charged batteries and boats in my truck. And as soon as the pond opens, I'm going to be on the road and away from any sort of traffic jam and hope to run the boat. In the meantime, I thought I'd show you progress on the new and improved Santee Sport Scale Hydro, the SSSH. Yesterday I talked about measuring out and getting my hole. What I did to uh, establish the center line, I just took a sanding block. These are Delrin blocks that I'm, <laughs> they're scrap cutoffs. I buy these on eBay. You get a great big box for like 20 bucks. And using the inside of the sponson, I established a line and established a line. <coughs> and then I checked, double checked and quadruple checked that those lines were in fact parallel. You know, because sometimes a manufacturer may not get the sponsons parallel. These were, so I, they established, and you can still maybe see a hint of a pencil line. And then I came in with a felt pen and set an offset. I established center line there and offset it two tenths of an inch, 0 0.2 inches. And so there's my offset. So I've established my offset. And I did the first part of the gluing. Now gluing the uh, motor mount and stuffing shaft is going to be several different steps. The first part I did was to just take some epoxy and uh, shredded fiberglass and glue in the motor mount. And once the motor mount is in, now as this motor mount is right now, it's butt glued, it's butt glued, it's butt glued to the uh, bottom of the hull. I don't know why these screws are taking forever to come out. Maybe I need to uh, remove this coupler as well. Maybe it won't fit through there. Oh, there it goes. Here it goes. Seldom do you actually get to see Dr. Jet turning wrenches. That's a job for Big B. So... The motor mount is now officially glued down, but I want this thing jetted, or others might say iron-cladded. I want this to handle big B-style crashes. So if I were to pull up on this, it would just be a butt joint. So my plan is to take a piece of three-quarter ounce carbon cloth and lay it over these legs on this motor mount and that'll give it some more support. And after that's been laid and I take my paper towel and I smush it all down and soak up as much of the epoxy out of it as I can and while I still have a, a little pot of epoxy cooking off, I'll put the motor mount back in and that's when I will do this business I'll do the wrap under here the wrap over there and so all that three quarter ounce cloth will be at one application and it will be done and ready to go finally I'll come back in with a little sheet of carbon just to stiffen this this weakness here up a little bit. 
So there you go, boys and girls, a quick update on how the process is going and what the next step will be. And I'll see you at the pond. Until then, jet out. Okay, boys and girls, just a quick follow-up on <clears throat> this morning's earlier video. <clears throat> I marked the uh, <clears throat> center of the drive shaft with a red felt pen. I don't recommend that. On the uh, H&M hauls, <clears throat> the felt pen stains the gel coat, and I had to work on this with some Meguiar's to get it off. I have put on, I have mixed up some epoxy. I have cut out some three quarter ounce glass cloth and I've layered over the motor mount and this uh, through haul. I have some carbon fiber here that after everything's cooked off, I'll, uh, I'll put a little triangle back here just to uh, stiffen that up. I did allow the uh, three quarter ounce cloth to go back here a ways, but the cloth, it, it's three quarter ounce stuff. It's, you know, you can tear it pretty easily. Something I forgot to tell you, <clears throat> I assume you know, that before any epoxy goes down, you sand the surface and then you clean it with at least rubbing alcohol, better lacquer thinner or acetone and get all that dust and grease and grime off there because you want the epoxy to stick. And then when you're putting epoxy down, anything like this, you go in and you wet out the area first. You take a brush, dip it in epoxy, and spread it out and get it as thin as you can. You can even wipe it up with a, a paper towel. But you want a layer, a, mo a, la a molecule thick layer of epoxy on everything that you're going to glue. Then put epoxy on your parts and put them together and so forth. But wet out the area first. It also makes it nice for sticking down the cloth because it'll just stick there. And then you come in you, with your brush and you wet the cloth out and you uh, dab up the excess. And this dabbing up the excess, you know, it, it pushes any loose edges down. It's, it's kind of like the, the poor man's vacuum bag. And there you go. Oh, see, I see something popping up right there so I can go in here with my poor man's vacuum bag and vacuum it down to the surface. So I'm off to the pond now. When I get back, that should be cured. Until, well, no. When I get back, that should be a quarter cured. Until next time, boys and girls, jet out.